Why, hello everyone. This is Classic Homesteading Practices, and today we're going to be talking about zucchini. Now, zucchini is one of the plants to grow, which is why I think a lot of people love to grow it. It only takes about 50 to 60 days before it starts giving off zucchini and it can be used in many different kinds of you know projects whether it be zucchini bread cake cupcakes fried zucchini grilled or baked there's many ways to eat zucchini and again it's so prolific that you don't really have to worry about m having many of them in your garden to get a lot of them so Again, really quickly, in any climate or any zone, I should say, uh, because even if you live in somewhere like Alaska, where it has 150 to a little bit less a season, a day season, or you have somewhere like California or Arizona, somewhere like that, or even... New Zealand and Australia, you'll be able to grow zucchini sometimes two to three times a year. And again, you usually only need one plant because it grows a lot of them, especially if you keep up on picking them. Now, the fun thing about them too is that you can have tiny zucchini, which preferably you want about an inch and a half to two inches in diameter and about six inches long, though if you go without picking them and there are a couple of hot days, it will turn into a baby-sized zucchini. The unfortunate thing about this is, is that they do become woody and usually you just want to put it in a cake or a bread at this point instead of, you know, eating them raw or grilling or frying them. Though my mother has had grilled zucchini that is baby size, so you know, three inches in diameter. And she said that it was perfectly fine to her. Then again, there are strange people out there. Anyway, so the first thing that you wanna do and I'm probably going to be saying this in every video, is getting your supplies. I grew my zucchini indoors for the first two weeks and then transplanted it outside. This did give me uh, a longer period of growing time, unfortunately. So if you want to go and have your zucchini growing zucchini for a longer season, go ahead and start it about four weeks in advance before transplanting it out, or even six weeks. Though I will tell you, you are going to need to up pot it or put it in a larger pot before you put it in the ground. And also, uh, it will probably be about six to ten inches in diameter. So a fairly large plant before you get it in the ground. Again, though, you will have your zucchini a lot faster, which means that you'll have a lot more of it because it's producing more throughout this season. 52 days goes by really quickly, especially when a half or more of those days are indoors. Though, remember, germination is not part of those 50 days. So, when you are planting any plant, this goes for any plant or flower, it is 50 days or said amount of days after germination that you will get this fruit. So, get your supplies, your dirt, your tray, your seeds, and your growing light, and prep everything up together. You're going to put your dirt in first. You're going to have the tray, the drip tray underneath of it and put water in the tray so the dirt can uh, be bottom watered, which is something that I talk about in watering your plants. Basically, this is the, a way for dry dirt to soak up water almost like a paper towel. 
It'll soak up the water and take up as much water as it needs and you can stick the seed in the top and you don't have to worry about uh, overflowing or flooding the dirt and the seed dropping down too much into the dirt and you know there's only so much energy a seed has for growing itself before it pops out of the earth and if it sinks down in that dirt it's just a lot harder for it to germinate and again grow properly so try out bottom watering if you've had a problem with seed germination i think you'll find that it works way better than sticking the seed in some dry dirt and then watering it i think you'll really like it after you go ahead and water it germination usually takes three to five days sometimes it takes a couple more depending on what's going on with your temperatures inside your house after it germinates, you're going to have to up-pot it probably one to two times, depending on how big your pot is that you use to up-pot it. And then you, of course, transplant it outside. Remember, you're going to want to harden your plant off, be it three cloudy days or seven sunny days. And then you're going to be waiting those 50 days to get your zucchini. Now, after you are done waiting for it, whether it is in Alaska or Canada, Northern Hemisphere or Southern Hemisphere, there are a couple of differences that you do need to think about. When you're in a more rainy, cooler climate, there may be a couple more days until you get your zucchini you are going to see two different types of flowers when your zucchini starts to produce. One is going to be a male plant. One is going to be a female plant. The female plant, you can easily tell because there's a tiny zucchini that is going to be growing behind it. And you're going to be able to tell it's a male plant or a male blossom because, again, there's going to be no fruit there. It's going to be a scrawny little uh, stem behind this big orange flower. Now, if you are concerned that your zucchini isn't going to be able to be fertilized, you can pluck that male plant and stick the flower, the bulbous tip, into the... Uh, awaiting a female flower and pollinate that way and basically you just stick that bulbous pollinator or pollen into the middle of the flower uh, head which will have these little parts that flower inside of it and it will literally uh goodness eg about this because i just want to say you're going to stick the male tip into the female flower uh vulva basically because that's what it is that is how you're going to be fertilizing it so i hope there's no children around and everybody else just grow up because that is how the breeding process of pollination occurs that is how bees transfer they go they take the male pollen and they go over to the female part of the plant and they spread it on their little bee butts or their legs in that yellow tiny little flower area of the zucchini blossom all right now that that awkward moment has passed hopefully that is how fertilization happens. You can also take a paintbrush, a Q-tip, a toothbrush, and take off the pollen from the male plant and then, of course, brush it on the inside of the female plant. And that is a very easy way of doing uh, pollination fertilization. Now, another thing, you're going to be seeing a lot of male plants or male blossoms first. And then you're going to be seeing the female blossoms. So don't 
worry when you see all of these male blossoms coming up first. Instead of worrying, just go ahead and pluck them because then you're saving energy for your female blossoms when they finally come. Usually it's about five days after you start seeing male blossoms, you start getting the female blossoms. I've had it go all the way up to two weeks and that's usually because I haven't been plucking my blossoms off. You do not need to do that. You can wait the seven to 14 days to get your female blossoms and your fruiting plants. I'm just a micromanager when it comes to that. And I have seen, you know, the time just elapse faster in getting my fruit when I... Also at this time, I do suggest putting molasses water as a nice little inoculant to get more flowers. Now, again, because zucchini is very prolific, you don't need to do this, but I've always seen better results, and I like a lot of zucchini. So, add molasses water if you want more zucchini flowers or zucchini fruit, and get ready to be harvesting zucchini every couple of days. Now, like I said earlier, the optimal cutting for frying zucchini or baking or grilling, you want the tender small zucchini. So about an inch and a half to two inches in diameter by six, seven inches long. And you don't want to leave the plant or the flower alone. I'm sorry guys, you don't want to leave the zucchini fruit for a day longer after you see your your plant get that size because once you do that's when you start getting into dangerous territory with very big zucchini so one day it's going to look like the perfect zucchini which you're going to chop off and everything's great but then you forget about it and then the next day it turns into a literal forearm like a man's forearm now, if it's a wet day, like you have in the north, usually you can get away with it. But if it is a hot day, like you have in the south, the nice thing about having a wet north is that you don't have to water as often. Uh, make sure that you have perlite in your... Um, in your dirt or coconut coir just so it has proper drainage because you can overflood squash or a zucchini plant though the nice thing is is that they do like a lot of water so it's very hard to waterlog a zucchini plant though on the other side of the spectrum for southern people for lots and lots of heat you're gonna need to water your zucchini plant every day and I would definitely say put some vermiculite down, which is a water absorbent, or also put some mulch down. Put some straw on top of it or around the dirt. Put wood chips or some kind of moss. Make sure that that ground is covered so the sun just doesn't beat down and take away all the moisture from it because you're just going to be on top of it way too often. And if you do mulch it, instead of going for everyday watering, I've even in the very hot climate that I've experienced uh, recently, and I'm talking 95 to 100 degree weather, I've been able to leave my zucchini alone for three days. And that's with about two inches of wood mulch on top of it. Now, my zucchini plant was about two to three feet in diameter at its peak. Um, unfortunately, it lost its life in a dog trampling uh, and dog excavation and adventure of the dog trying to eat the zucchini plant. So hopefully 
If you guys have animals, make sure to fence off your area or you may have a problem like I did. Now, fortunately, we have successfully taken care of that problem and I do have a second squash plant. Uh, It's a patty pan, not a zucchini plant, but it will make do for now. And I also just uh, swapped two of my uh, sugar pie pumpkins for two baby-sized zucchini. So I am good on the zucchini front from there, but I will tell you this. Make sure that you have good fencing or you have well-trained animals so you aren't disappointed and, you know, or get very angry when something happens where they trample or just have an adventure that you were not planning. All right. Now that I've told you my experiences, I've given you the knowledge of how much time it will grow what you need for supplies to grow it, making sure you mulch it, or how much water you need to use for it or not. If you're up in the north, don't water it (laughs) because the rain will probably do that for you. It needs to be watered. It will show you. It usually will droop. Um, Just make sure to give it a little bit of water. Also, you can just check the dirt around it if you're concerned. And if the dirt is still spongy, don't worry about it. It's when it feels dry and compact is when you need to make sure you get some water in it now. But again, the plant should be able to tell you by uh, being droopy or having a little bit of uh, brown on the edges. And those are the indications that it just it needs water before you have to be concerned with the dirt actually drying up too much for it. All right. And I've told you the different ways that you can also make zucchini. Favorite way to make zucchini is definitely in zucchini bread. Just got to say it with a little bit of cinnamon. It's amazing. All right. Ah. And it is a frost tender plant, so if you do have a shorter timeline, just know when the first frost hits, yes, it is going to die. You did nothing wrong. It's just nature's way of saying it's time for the zucchini to go away. (laughs) All right. I hope that this was helpful information. I hope that you got a kick out of some of uh, my crazy animals shenanigans. And I hope this has prepared you for anything and everything with zucchinis. Have a wonderful day, guys. This is Classic Homesteading Practices. Until next time.